Hey guys, Jibba Lewis, Ivy Boys Podcast, but you know that. Last night was a little disappointing. Um, I feel like the pitching was fine. I'm a little worried, like everybody else, of Stropey's uh, lack of velocity last night, but this is what it is. We're getting Kimbrel soon. Um, the frustrating part was definitely the offense only scoring one run. Yeah. Uh, you can't do that, especially against a guy like Ivan Nova, who's not good. He's not good. I think he has an ERA of like seven. You can't do that against the guy, knowing you're going to have to face Giolito tonight. Still not worried. White Sox fans, you're acting like, whoa, we won the trade. Eloy hit a home run. <laughs> that won the trade for us. Really? You think you won this trade? We don't know who won this trade yet. I'll tell you this right now. Cubs win the World Series this year. And Katana gets us a big win in the playoffs and gets us there. Cubs won the trade. Because like I said last night in the podcast, which, by the way, like and subscribe this page and check out last night's podcast. It was just me, by the way. Um, like I said in the podcast, parades over prospects. There's a reason Theo was okay with giving up Eloy Jimenez and Dylan Cease for Jose Quintana. He knew what he was doing. Theo and Theo we trust. So White Sox fans, before you get all like ecstatic because your team's still one game under 500 and 12 and a half back in the division without not even hope of the playoffs this year because guess what? That's not going to happen. And then when everybody starts plateauing, plateauing next year and having sophomore slumps when you're sitting in the cellar again, what are you going to say then? Because that's where you're going to be because your, your stadium – has it all over it. The arrow pointing down. I That's just how it is. So White Sox fans, you get all excited for last night. That's fine. We get excited in October. You guys don't know what that's like. You don't know what that's like. Go Cubs. Screw you, Sox.